direct card uh, curriculum coordinator for AOS 94, and I'm going to show you how to add a new assessment into our Atlas curriculum software. You should be in your map, you should be in a unit, and you should have already identified some standards that you need to be measuring your, your stage one desired results. So you come down to your assessment and you click add new assessment. Um, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to call this one intro to economics because this is an economics unit. And down below, you'll see the standards that I targeted in stage one. When you go and do this yourself, you'll see the standards that you targeted. So what I want to make sure I do, the very first thing that I do is I click the boxes that I am measuring. The standards that this particular assessment is going to be measuring. Um, you might have more standards that you're not clicking. That's fine. You're just, with this particular assessment, whichever one you're building into this particular unit, these are the standards that you're measuring and you click and you check those. Next, uh, the assessment method and the assessment type. In order to do this, what you want to do is look at the standard itself and determine the rigor level that the standard level is written at. This is an explanation. Explain that economics is the study of how scarcity, blah, blah, blah. To, to, to fully understand this, I'm going to use a uh, taxonomy. I like to use, the Mar we're going to use the Marzano taxonomy for this. And I'll see that explain ways in which that's at a comprehension level. And in particular, it's an integrating level. So when I come back to my atlas, I'm going to come to in the assessment tab. I'm going to choose integration at a comprehension level because that's the level of cognitive complexity that this is at. And the assessment type is, of course, the comprehension. That's the general side of it. Um, that's the general level of cognitive complexity. The integration is more of a specific. This will help us over time determine how we are measuring the rigor level of our students. I based, and again, I based this level of rigor and cognitive complexity on the standard itself, the academic standard itself. Um, I created just a quick description of what my students would be doing. And you can, of course, pause this at any time to read. I only have a few minutes to do this. I have uh, five minute screen capture tools. So you'll please uh, understand my brevity, but you can pause and replay this as many times you want. Um, so students will collect a uh, quick, quick description. The final thing that I would, rec uh, I would recommend you put a, a quick description of it in. It doesn't have to be much. The final thing that I would recommend you do is add an attachment. It doesn't have to be the test. If you're doing a multiple choice test, you don't have to put in the test itself. You don't have to put in whatever it is that you're doing. But what I would recommend you do is if you have a rubric or if you have a scoring guide, how you are going to determine what, what, whether, or not they've, whether or not the students have met the standard, met proficiency, have quote unquote passed, add that in. So I'm going to just do a file attachment. I'm going to search for my rubric, intro to economics rubric. And I'm just going to attach that. And if you wanted to see what that looked like, all I did was I just created a quick rubric based on the content itself, the content domain standard, and based on what they're, what they're expected to do um, using uh, the guiding principle that I chose and the academic content standard. Again, you don't have to upload the actual test. You don't have to upload because I know people are concerned whether or not, well, should I upload this or not? Are they going to be able to see it or not? And if so, uh, can they just copy and memorize it? All this is saying is this is what students are going to have to do. This doesn't really say the specific questions. This just tells what the students are going to have to do and how they're going to know whether they've done it or not. That's the assessment. Finally, the level of rigor that's needed. So click save. And after the spinning wheel is done, the assessment pops up there. It is a linked and aligned assessment to the curriculum that I've created, the curriculum map that I've created. Uh, if you have any questions, email me, call me, and I will be happy to set up a time with you to meet individually. Thanks for your time. Good luck.